Hello, muggles. <laughs> Welcome to Shameless Plugs. I am currently training for the Triwizard Tournament, and in case you have not picked up on it yet, this is going to be a Harry Potter-themed episode, so welcome to Shameless Plugs and the Podcast of Potter, as I am welcome. calling it. Welcome! Welcome! So, first, let's let's just get the uh, question over with. Why are we doing a Harry Potter episode, and why are we doing it now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we're doing a Harry Potter episode because we're a relatively new podcast. This yep. is only our fifth episode, it is. and we want you to listen to us. Yep. And Harry Potter is popular, so we figured maybe if we did a Harry Potter episode, you would listen to us. Relentless so, self-promotion. Exactly. <laughs> Reading, writing, relentless self-promotion. That's what we're about. That's what we're about. Um, I am a Potterhead, as I guess we're called. I've never really embraced that name, but I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Samantha is not. She has never read the books. She nope. has never seen the movies. Nope. So this is going to be a lot of me ranting and raving mm -hmm. about various things, and listening to Samantha discover her Hogwarts house, her Patronus. She's actually going to be going to Pottermore.com and taking the quizzes in the episode. So. I am. I am on the website right now. I I do know a bit, mainly because a lot of people talk about Harry Potter, and I've seen one movie. Ah, uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I've seen the fourth movie. Yes. That's it. So, it's kind of... It's a good one to see. It, it was good. I mean, it was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And I, I know the basic story. I know, yes. but I, I, I really have never jumped into the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is going to be fun, though. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, is, uh, do you want to you wanna tell them how all this came about? Why yeah. we're doing all this? So, all this <laughs> came about, that, uh, to speak to kind of the timing that we were talking about at the beginning, uh, a bunch of people at work... Because we don't do anything else at work, obviously. Clearly, clearly. But a bunch of people at work were taking their Pottermore quizzes. And if you haven't been to Pottermore, it's a great site. The quizzes on there are really cool. They're very interactive. You know, they're, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's a great site. But um, a lot of people at work were taking these personality quizzes to find out their Hogwarts mm -hmm. house and their Patronus. And we'll explain what all that means later if you're not a reader, if you're like Samantha. So, mm -hmm. Granted, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you probably tuned out by now, but if you're still with us... But don't tune out non-fans. Don't tune out non-fans, because Samantha isn't a fan either. We're, this is going to be friendly whether you are a muggle or... I was a going me. to... Yeah, well, you would be a muggle. Oh. But, a muggle! <laughs> whether you are a muggle or, let's just say, a Hogwarts graduate. Okay. So, um, anyway... Wizards. A bunch of people at work were doing these personality quizzes. We thought it would be fun to have Samantha do them on the air and find out who she is. And you're also going to hear me rant and rave mm -hmm. about my results. Which may be the best part about this. I'm yeah. going to throw that out there. This may... I... <sighs> Not to me! <laughs> <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed these rants. I did not. At anyway. work. And I can't wait to hear them again. So. Anyway, so... Uh, the other reason why we wanted to do it now, timing-wise, is because I think of Harry Potter as a fall and winter product. Mm -hmm. And that's partially because of the movies. If I remember correctly, the first couple were released in the fall and winter months, like around Thanksgiving and Christmas time. But I also think of them that way because they're all bundled up in their robes and they're <laughs> walking around a blustery English castle and it's gray and cloudy and it just, there's they, there's always something that happens around winter break and so on. It just feels like fall and winter to me, so. And they have scarves. They do have scarves. See, that ah, also, see, that. see, that plays into it too. That's just in my head. The image of Harry mm -hmm. Potter is robes and scarves, and walking through the uh, blustery English castle. Mm -hmm. So, so fall and winter. Then that's <clears throat> the time of year that it is here in Cincinnati. Yes, the... and it messed with my head when they released movies in the summer months. It just I... it just messed with me. I know. It I... didn't seem yeah. appropriate no, to me. No, not at all. So, mm -mm. anyway, with that said, I think we are ready to dive into <laughs> Samantha's personality test. We're ready to find out her, ho her Hogwarts house first. So Yeah, we are. I'm going to make that, sure that that's not turned up too loud. Let's we also, <laughs> we're ready to start my rant. All right. So, I have clicked the thing. Okay, okay. wait a second. Okay, so the sorting <laughs> hat is ready to sort you. Yeah, so I have to click this, right? Yes, you have there to click go. that. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the sorting ceremony for Samantha. <clears throat> 
See, mm-hmm. it's it's a very nice site. It's very interactive it and is. pretty. It's attractive. It's very nice, yeah. So, Hogwarts houses. Those <laughs> are the four houses that you would be sorted into by the sorting hat if you were a student at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The four houses each have different virtues and personality traits that they epitomize and uh, that they admire. Um, I should be a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Ravenclaw's mascot is an eagle. It's blue is its color, one of its colors, which is my favorite color. And it the, the personality traits that it admires and epitomizes are wit and wisdom mm-hmm. and creativity and imagination, those kind of things. It's the thoughtful the, the, the thoughtful house. Now the main characters from the movies, they are all the main heroes, I should say, are all Gryffindors. It, it, it epitomizes bravery and courage and standing up to injustice and those kind of noble qualities. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Slytherin <laughs> is the enemies. They are the bad guys of the movie, the Draco, Draco Malfoys and Crab and Goyle and so on. They are all Slytherins. They uh, <clears throat> it kind of admires ambition and cunning and, you know, some things that they can be positive qualities if they're mm-hmm. channeled right, but they could also be very negative qualities. And all of the dark wizards in the movies were Slytherins. So Lord Voldemort um, and the uh, Malfoy family, you know, and so on, and Narcissa Black, they were all Slytherins. So, you know, they've... (laughs) Slytherins, their symbol is a snake. You know, they're just portrayed as not very positive. I did not get any of those houses. (laughs) (laughs) You did not, and this is probably the best part. I, according to the Sorting Hat, I am a Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh, it's such a cute name. Yeah, please stop mocking me. Okay. <laughs> so, Hufflepuffs, they are, they kind of epitomize loyalty and, you know, generosity and being kind to other people. <laughs> and they're good qualities, but they're just kind of boring. <laughs> Uh, yes, there are some famous ones. Cedric Diggory was a Hufflepuff, and uh, Tonks, who is very cool in the books and the movies. Mm-hmm. He's, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to get into all of the specific terminology, but let's just say she's a shapeshifter. Um, <clears throat> you know, there are some cool characters. Newt Scamander, from who was the main character um, of... Uh, I don't study any of these things. What, what's the question? Which of the following would you most like to study? I don't want to study any of them. Well, you have to pick one. I don't want to. It, it's a personality <laughs> test. Pick the one that fits the best. <laughs> Find out which house you belong in, Muggle. I'm working uh, on it. <laughs> anyway. Are those the things with feet? What? Like centaurs? Feet? Centaurs are half man, half horse. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um, that's fine. I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway. Working here. Working here. So, yes, I am a Hufflepuff. Our symbol is a badger. Our, our mascot, I should say, is a badger. Our color is yellow. I hate yellow, for the record. Oh, yellow's so pretty. I, no, it's not to me. <laughs> <clears throat> the only cool thing about Hufflepuffs is that their common room, you, you, get, the, you get to their, their house through the kitchen. That's really the only thing, and I love to eat, so I'll give them that. But it's just... Uh, uh, it just doesn't feel like it fits me. Yeah, like I, at all. I agree. It's. I mean, you're you're you do encompass all of those qualities. Uh, <laughs> loyal, patient, fair, hardworking, and true are the Hufflepuff traits, according to Pottermore.com. So thank you for that. But it just it feels like I should be a Ravenclaw. And I actually created a second profile, just out of curiosity, not to... T- 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Samantha just got her results. This is going to be the last episode, because she got Ravenclaw. Yes, I did! <laughs> I don't know what that means, but the fact that you can't see his face right now, but uh-huh. it's incredibly agitated, and it's cracking me up, so... Look, it's blue. Uh, yes, it is blue. <laughs> blue is my favorite color. Shut up. <laughs> I should be a Ravenclaw. Anyway, read, you want to continue read, your rant? Read off the personality traits, oh, yeah, okay. and then we'll get back to... Yeah, got it. Uh, where are those? Where so, do those live? Scroll down, but... Uh, um, the So I took a... I, I actually traits? created... Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, go ahead and read the traits. Uh, the traits of a Ravenclaw are intelligent, wise, sharp, witty, and individual. That should be me. <laughs> anyway. It is me. <clears throat> Shut your face. Anyway, I actually took the quiz again. I created a second profile. Not to attempt to invalidate what the sorting hat decided the first time, but just out of curiosity. And when I took it the second time, what house did I get? Gryffindor. <laughs> I still did not get Ravenclaw. My children mess with me by calling me Hufflepuff. Aww. My wife buys me Hufflepuff merchandise. Occasionally she'll buy me Slytherin just to rub it in that I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> the, uh... and, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, the quiz is interesting because, I, I, I granted, I know nothing about this, but there was, it's not like one of those quizzes where it's like, what's your favorite color? What's right. your favorite? Yeah. You know, it's like, it's really kind of, um, it's well done, so. Yeah, I thought, I, I, Pottermore's a fantastic site. Um, the one good thing I will say about being a Hufflepuff is my wife is also a Hufflepuff. Oh. So we ended up in the same house. My wife is also a big Harry Potter fan. Mm -hmm. She refuses to read the books, however. She <laughs> absolutely refuses to read the books. And the reason is because uh, <clears throat> when she was pregnant with our daughter, um, she had, like, a lot of nausea and everything, like, and, and certain foods that she loved. Like, my wife believes that garlic, unless you're making a dessert, garlic should be in everything you cook. And just the, even the slightest scent of garlic made her incredibly nauseous. Garlic is so, yummy. I love garlic, but she couldn't be anywhere around it when she was pregnant. And uh, the one thing that helped take her mind off everything was watching the Harry Potter movies because it... Like, every other weekend, ABC Family, now Freeform, mm -hmm. had a Harry Potter weekend. So she was watching those all the time while she was pregnant. And she doesn't want to taint her love of the movies by reading the books. You know, I, I've Get told that. her that they stay, for the most part, they stay pretty close to the books. Um, I mean, there are some things that get cut out, but they don't wildly deviate from the books. But she doesn't want anything to do with the books because of that. So, Yeah. I don't know. I think it's that's cool to me. Like, if there's something that you really like and you don't want to ruin it, like... Yeah. Oh, I, I like respect that. it. Yeah. I'm not knocking her, but, yeah. you know, her her mom actually bought her the entire set of books. Nice. I already own the entire set of books. Nice. Um, <clears throat> and she won't read them. <laughs> she will not read them because of that. But anyway, so uh, are you ready to find out what your Patronus is and stop gloating? I'm not gloating. Yes, I'm you're, doing a dance. You're sitting and dancing. <laughs> in the dancing. studio, you are sitting and dancing just to rub in that you got Ravenclaw and I did not. I wouldn't even know what I was rubbing in because I know nothing about this. <laughs> that okay. Makes it, that makes it worse in some ways. I'm but... sorry. Where do I go now? You would go back to... Uh, Here? Uh, go back. I'm going to click that button. <laughs> Try going just to your profile. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Click the button. Sorry, listeners. Yeah, sorry. Samantha can run a computer sometimes. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> there it is. All right. All right, we're going to do the next one. This, okay, so <laughs> if you thought the house rant by J. George was entertaining, <laughs> the next one is going to have you rolling around laughing. So start your quiz. <laughs> Please start your quiz. I'm starting it right now. Hit the button. So, for those of you who do not know what a Patronus oh my is... Oh, a flingy thing. Yes. Yes. So, for those of you who do not know what a Patronus is, Patronus is... The closest analogy is your spirit animal. And, frankly, I think that every job application should include a question of what is your spirit animal. I am in 100% agreement with this. What is your spirit animal slash Patronus? Because mm -hmm. I think that it is, you oh, know... It's just like a video. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you, cool. you're, you're wandering through the forest. Look, oh, it's a Patronus. I'm wandering through the forest. In fact, I believe that is Harry Potter's Patronus. Hello, Patronus. <laughs> so, Patronus is a, a positive force, as uh, uh, Lupin said in the book. It is kind of a distillation of your happiest emotions. It is your happiest memories distilled into a spirit protector. It is magical, um, obviously. Well, that's 
kind of obvious. I probably shouldn't have needed to say that, since the Harry Potter novels are all about witchcraft and wizardry and magic. Um, but they are the primary force of protection, the, the first line of defense against creatures known as Dementors. Dementors are kind of the jailers of the uh, magic prison Azkaban. And Dementors suck the happiness out of people. They suck kind of almost like the will to live. They suck it out of you. They leave you despondent and dejected to the point where you <clears throat> are borderline catatonic. So how do you defend against them? By shout, by brandishing your wand and shouting, Expecto Patronum! Yeah! I don't have a wand right now, but I, don't I, am, I am miming the motion as if I did as I shout out spells. I'm just doing it because. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you would think you, when, you, when it comes time to get your spirit animal, you want something fierce, you want something intimidating, you want something imposing, you want a wolf, or you want something majestic <gasps> like an eagle. Uh, um, so let prepare to meet your Patronus. And... You want something fierce that seems like it would frighten oh. a Dementor off. Oh. You you want something, oh. you know, uh, intimidating. A bear, a wolf, an eagle, something like that. What did I get, <laughs> listeners? Stop laughing. Not. I got a fox terrier. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> she does that occasionally to me over Wait. the cubicle wall. Click, drag, release. What does that mean? Quick drag and release, and you'll find out your Patronus. Here comes Samantha's Patronus. Here it comes. So yes, I got a fox terrier. What is that? A pine marten? <laughs> I have no idea what that animal is. It he looks like a weasel. Congratulations, <laughs> you got a worse animal than I did. Your Patronus sucks more than mine. I don't know if it does or not. I don't even know what it is. We're going to Google what a pine marten is right now. Oh my now gosh, because... it's kind of cute. Look at it go. But it's it's a rodent. That's it's. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here it comes! Hello. We're gonna find out what a pine martin is right now. I don't even know what that is. I have pine no... martin. It looks like a kitty. The European pine martin, known most commonly as the pine martin in Anglophone Europe. Uh, yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah. a kitty. What is it? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to find <laughs> out. <laughs> Look at it. It's like a kitty weasel. It uh, belongs to the mustelid family, which also includes mink, otter, badger, wolverine, and weasel. Oh, I'll take it. Badger circles back around to Hufflepuff. <laughs> I will take it. It's so cute. Look at its little face. It looks like vermin to me. Oh, my gosh. Pine, P-I-N-E-M-A-R-T-E-N, -E -E for those of you who also do not know what a pine martin is. I have not. Okay, we're I will take a fox terrier over your pine martin. Oh, <laughs> in for a heartbeat. Sakes, look at it. I'm gonna. I want to look it up. It is so cute. Hello, pine martin. It's a weasel. It's cute weasel. It's a weasel. It's still a Ravenclaw. You're you're uh, you're still vermin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, weasel. <laughs> Ruff. Anyway. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna look up pictures of my Patronus. My fox terrier would eat your weasel any day of the week. <laughs> my weasel can kill snakes. My, my, my wand, however, there is a wand quiz. Yeah. We're not gonna go through the no, wand we're not quizzes, gonna go through it. but my wand was awesome. My wand was absolutely oh phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it's got a cute face. Look it's, at it. It's vermin. It's a oh weasel. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is a weasel. <laughs> How can you not have that face? Because it's vermin. <laughs> it kind of, well, yeah, you have a thing with vermin. I do have a thing with vermin. But I, look, I, I, oh, it kind of looks like it's perfect. It's not perfect. It's a weasel. It's so perfect. It's got little, I, look at its feet. They're different colors. I'm going to get one. It, you, you go right ahead. <laughs> Maybe we'll post a picture of a Pine Martin on... <laughs> it, that's, the, that's the face it makes before it eats your face. Anyway, because it's yes. vermin. Ew, I'm looking <clears throat> down at you. I'm a Pine Martin. So, I got an Alder, Alderwood wind, <laughs> wand. Alderwood wind. Alderwood wand with a phoenix feather core. Yep, yep. Ten inches. Oh, have we moved past the dog? We, we've moved past the dog. Oh, okay. Because... Got it. You know, I don't want to talk about your vermin anymore, and I don't want to talk about my lackluster spirit God, animal. Damn, it's so long. <laughs> this makes me really happy. 
So, back to my wand. Yeah, back to- okay, go back to your wand. I'm just gonna sit here and look at pictures of this adorable animal. I enjoy. So, it's an unyielding wood, and it is best suited for, uh... It's best suited to nonverbal spell work. So, it's really suitable for only the most advanced witches and wizards. So, that's what I'm going to take solace in instead of my puppy, Patronus. <laughs> And my badger house. <laughs> yes? <laughs> what specifically are you laughing about right now? <laughs> I just... I'm a wise and witty wizard with a little spirit animal that can ride on my shoulders. And it has a long tail. It can be like a scarf and keep me warm. And it's got cute little eyes and it's like, what's up? I, I... What's up, Jay? I'm done with her. What's up, Jay? I, I can't even look at her. Right now. <laughs> I can't even look at her right now. I'm done. When I'm when I'm doing all my writing and stuff, and mm -hmm. just curl up in my lap and be like, hello. My Patronus could curl up in my lap too, unfortunately. Yeah, but you're gonna just put it outside in the cold because you don't like it. That's correct. Well, hello, Patronus. I'm could, okay with you. Couldn't yes. I have even gotten like a German Shepherd or something? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I want like an eagle or you know a wolf, true, but yeah. if I can't get one of those, couldn't I at least get like a fierce dog, like a <laughs> Rottweiler or a German Shepherd or something? Oh, that's so fun. No, I got a fox terrier who looks like it waddles because his legs can't even bend right. <laughs> and if you are a lover of fox terriers, please send hate mail to I don't care at. We don't care .com. Yep, yep, that's where our hate mail goes. <laughs> yes. If you would like to have a conversation with us about any of this, including how cute Pine Martins are, you can reach out to us at shamelessplugspodcast at gmail.com. Or on Facebook. Mm hmm At Shameless Plugs Podcast. Or on Instagram. At Plugs Podcast. Or on Twitter at Plugs Podcast. Oh, wait. <laughs> No. Yeah, that's why I was... I was confused. I forgot. Yes. Um, currently, the Instagram is Samantha the Writer. Okay. <laughs> because... Well, that's different. Yeah, because uh, I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so are we, like, coming to the end of this one? I believe we're coming to the end of this one. So if we're coming to the end of this one, uh, quick, quick shout-out, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, absolutely. So apparently, we have listeners right now in um, Romania... Sup, Romania. Yo. The UK. <laughs> Sup, UK. Hi, UK. And, uh, San Jose. Sup, San Jose. Sup, San Jose. San Jose is one of our best listeners. Yeah, they are right yeah, now. So, so, um, hello. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> just wanted to thank you. And thank I'm, you, Outlets. I'm going to make a reading recommendation. If you are a Harry Potter fan and you have not read the work of Rick Riordan... Mm, I highly mm -hmm. recommend it. I think that if you are a Harry Agreed. Potter fan, you would enjoy Rick Riordan's work. It is has a similar personality, but it is not at all a copycat. It is very much focused on mythology. So there is there are multiple series actually now. Um, the <clears throat> Percy Jackson books are the most well known of those, um, and they are focused on Greek mythology. But there is also um, the a series on the Cain family, which is focused on uh, Egyptian mythology. There's Magnus Chase, which is about Norse mythology. Um, there is a series that crosses over between Greek and Roman mythology that also Percy Jackson is back in without being the main character. Um, and there's also The Trials of Apollo, which I have not started reading yet. I'm reading Magna the Magnus Chase books right now. But... They are geared for younger audiences, but if you like Harry Potter, you would probably enjoy Rick Riordan's work. So I would highly recommend checking those out. They are very well written and very engaging. They create a the kind of the same thing that Harry Potter the Harry Potter series does well is it creates a world to live in. These do the same thing, um, and they are all inspired by mythology, like I said. So you could learn something too. So that was actually <clears throat> when I did my short stint at the bookstore. That was uh, people came in and said. We, you know, my kids are, I loved Harry Potter, What what's next? Mm -hmm. um, Rick Riordan was one of our go-tos. Yes. So, definitely agree with everything that was just said. And I really enjoy the books, even though I'm an adult. They're good books. They're fun. I uh, know, you haven't read them. I haven't read them. They're, they're fun books. And they're all, in a, they're all an interconnected world, too, which yes. is cool. 
<laughs> I do read a lot, just not usually the mainstream. Yeah. My tastes are like my tastes mm -hmm. in music. They're yeah. all over the place. Yep. I read obscure. I read mainstream. I read adult. I read kids. I read everything. Mm -hmm. With that. With that. I think our episode is done. I think it is. So, um, yay. Let us know what your Patronus <laughs> is. Let us know what yeah. your house you're in. Talk to us on, uh, on social media. Email us. We'd love to hear it. Yep, definitely would. And uh, thank you for listening, Outlets. Thank you.